Hi guys, Graham here and today I'm going to show you how to install Tmod Loader for your Windows Steam version of Terraria. Fat Pikachu! Now, okay guys, so just before we get started, I would recommend before making any changes to the Terraria version of your PC, to back everything up. That's your worlds, your characters, and even your Terraria folder within Steam. If you're not sure how to do that, then you can click on the link which will appear on your screen now, and that will show you then how to do that. Once that's been done, head over to the Terraria forum page for Tmod Loader, and the link will be in the description below. Scroll down, and you'll see Download. We're using Windows, so we're going to click on Windows, and that will then download the Tmod Loader folder into your Downloads folder. Head over there, which I've got right here, and you'll see this folder here. Now I'm going to use something called 7-zip or 7-zip to extract it, but there are other programs such as WinRAR, um, which is quite a common one as well. But I believe with Windows 10, which is what I'm using, 7-zip comes by default. So all you need to do is right click on that folder, go to 7-zip or WinRAR, and then extract to the folder name like so. What that'll do is it'll extract it into a regular folder that's non-zipped, and you'll see it has several different files within it. Now what you need to do is copy all of those files. Once they're copied, we're going to head over to our Steam folder for Terraria. Now if you're not sure where that is, because it may be slightly different for you, everyone seems to be a little bit different depending on where their Steam library is saved, the easy way to find it is to open up Steam, right click on Terraria, go to Properties, and you'll see local files here. Click on that and then go to browse local files and that will take you to the exact section we need to be in. And it will also tell you where that is. So if you click on the little address bar here, you can see mine's is in D, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common and Terraria, which isn't actually the default location, which is why I'm showing you how to find it. So once you've gone in here, simply paste the files you copied earlier from within that Tmod Loader folder like so, and you may get this warning saying that this file already exists, that's fine, just go to replace the files in the destination. Once that's done, simply load up Terraria. Okay, once in Terraria, you should see some changes now, you'll see mods, mod sources, and mod browser. Now depending on what mod you want to download, all you need to do is head over into mod browser. It'll take you to the section where it shows you all the different mods for Terraria. If you can't find it within the list, you can just go up to type to search. And for example, if we wanted to install Thorium, we could do that there by typing in THOR and then you'd have an install section here. Mine is already downloaded, so I, I have update, but you will have install. And that's how easy it is to install the mods. Now to activate the mods, you can go into mods like so. And then you simply highlight the mod you want to activate or enable and click to enable. Then when you start a new game, it will actually be with that mod installed. The one thing to note guys, that your characters from the vanilla version of Terraria, that's the non-modded version, will not appear on this version. You have to copy them across and let me show you how to do that. So if we go over here and go into documents, I'll just go in there right now. You'll see here my games, go into that turn and Terraria from within there. Now this is actually where you store your players and worlds as you can see right there. But we now have a folder called Mod Loader. So if you open that up, you'll see there's also players and worlds and they contain all the different players that you've created, if you have created any, within your modded version of Terraria. So all you need to do is copy them across from this player and worlds folder into this one. Don't cut them. Don't drag them, just copy them across like I showed you earlier by right clicking and copy. That way you know they're still safe. And that's how easy it is. Now for whatever reason, if you want to go back to the vanilla version of Terraria, I found the easiest method for myself anyway, is just to simply go back into Steam, right click, go to properties for Terraria, and then go to local files again. And you'll see a uh, option here, sorry, saying verify integrity of game files. When you click on that, what will happen is it will then scan the Terraria folder within Steam, it will recognize that you've made changes, and it will just revert them back 
to the way they were before and installing the mods. And that's how easy it is, guys. Now, again, back up the players, back up your worlds if you don't want to lose them. I've never lost any to date. I've done that several times. I've reverted back. I've installed mods again. And it's actually kept my modded players as well as my vanilla players. But that's how easy it is, guys. I want to show you that because I get this question so much, especially when I started a new series, which was the modded series. And you guys were asking me how I went about installing the mods. And this was how I did it. So if you have found this helpful, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. That would really help me out a lot. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.